Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to hold the cello bow. There are varying opinions on this subject, but today I'm going to show you the most basic bow hold. Another teacher might tell you a slightly different thing, but I'm going to show you what I've learned from my teachers and what I currently believe to be the best bow hold. I might change my mind later on. If you do learn this bow hold, you can know for sure that it won't be wrong. There just might be other opinions and different views on this subject. Here are the basics. No matter what teacher you have, they are always going to tell you that your thumb needs to be bent. So your thumb is bent and it goes in this corner and always, no matter what, your pinky goes on the dot. Now from here, your third finger, this is where some of the differences come in. Your third finger could go on the middle, or the third finger could go slightly above. Second finger could go a little bit farther down, or it could be in the middle between the wood and the hair. Um, and then first finger wraps around like this. Some players play more squarely. Some players play more like this with more pronation. Personally, I like to play with a little bit more pronation. I don't like doing the very square like this, um, but either way, the most important thing for you to remember is to keep a generally straight wrist. Um, that really is just the most important thing, and to keep your thumb bent. Both hands mirror each other, and so this one also has a little bit of pronation, and so they really should, they should mirror each other like this. And of course, always remember to keep your hand relaxed no matter what you're doing. Like I said, there are slight nuances and slight differences. You will hear different opinions from different teachers, but from what I've been taught growing up playing since I was five years old, this is the basics. These are the basics, and this is what I have been using for the past several years. Even my teachers, the different teachers that I've gone through, uh, they even have differences between what they've said, but they're all wonderful players. Each and every one of them have been um, incredible players. They're all professional, um, so I trust what they've said, and um, even though they've disagreed with each other, they're all beautiful players, so it really just comes down to the fact that we all have different hands, we're all built differently, so you have to really find what works best for you. Stick with the basics, but the slight differences in how you hold the bow really depends on you um, and how you play best with which bow hold. So it really just takes a lot of practice and a lot of figuring it out for yourself. If you have any questions on this topic, I always do my best to get back to you. As always, I hope that this video helps.